Okay, are you guys ready for a sneaker that you just didn't know that you wanted until now? Listen, today's pair of sneakers has to be up there with one of the most unexpected cops pulling them out of the box and being like, Damn, okay. Either way, I gotta show you guys what I'm talking about. Today's pair of sneakers is of course the Jordan 5 Orange Blaze. There is nothing unexpected about the box. It's a regular Jordan 5 box, of course, all over black, red Jumpman logo. You've got the, the speckling around the bottom, but let me show you what's inside because I think it is pretty unexpected. And of course, it is today's very clean pair of sneakers, the Jordan 5 Orange Blaze. Man, take a look at these. Let me tell you guys something straight off the bat. The more we uncover about this pair of sneakers, the more it kind of makes it a compelling, pretty dope pair of shoes. So I guess let's start with the colorway. The, the name of this pair of sneakers, Orange Blaze, a lot of people are calling this the Shattered Backboard colorway. However, I just feel at this point, that name is pretty exhausted. We've called every single Jordan, no matter what the model is, a Shattered Backboard. Anything that has a little bit of orange on it is dubbed a shattered backboard sneaker so personally I'm gonna stick to orange blaze it's mostly a white sneaker and this is probably gonna sound a bit strange but the the white has depth Like it's not a solid white, like it's not super bright white. It's almost got a little bit of sail in there, which I think helps this pair of sneakers a lot. It makes it look a lot more, I guess, premium or distinguished. I'm not too sure what the kind of word is, but it definitely goes a lot better with the sneaker than having it a solid bright white. And I think because of the very interesting material choices that are on this pair of sneakers, that kind of sail upper is going to age very well and just kind of fits with the, the theme of this sneaker in general. But before we get any further into this, let me give you guys some specifics on when these dropped. They released this weekend, I think it was Saturday here in the UK, and out in the US, you guys are getting a release on October the 2nd. They retail for 180 pounds here in the UK or $190 if you're out in the US. Now, like like I said, the materials on here are interesting. Like they didn't just go with the regular materials on a Jordan 5. They didn't just chuck it on here. Uh, so most of the sneaker is leather and it's actually a really nice feeling leather. It feels thick, it feels soft. So uh, well done on that. I'm pretty happy with the leather choice. Now the really interesting part when it comes to the materials is what they chose to use on the medial, the lateral, and of course around towards the ankle area. So as you can see, they replaced the rubber mesh that you would normally find on a pair of Jordan 5s and they've added this, uh, this transparent, I guess, plastic material. Now, normally I think I traditionally wouldn't particularly like the addition of this material. However, the way that it fits in with this model, I think works super well, specifically around this ankle area. It adds just another layer of kind of keeping it retro, but also has this really strip back DIY effect to it. Like you can see underneath the, the sponge that they added, which is normally on a pair of Jordan 5s. You can see right through. And I think again, it gives it a really unfinished look, something like, and I hate to say, 
say this, but the Jordan 5 off-white sneakers matches with the sock liner and the tongue. Uh, and while we're on the subject of the tongue, this comes in all reflective, which I think looks super, super cool. So obviously when you hit that with a flash, it lights up. However, in the regular daylight, it's a nice gray color. Now, one thing I will say that I do not like about this pair of sneakers is uh, the little tongue tag on the reverse of the tongue. It comes in this glittery silver color, which I guess kind of makes it look a little bit childish, a little bit strange, and it doesn't really match the rest of the shoe. But again, it's on the reverse of the tongue, so it's really no worries there. I think that they did the midsole very well. So obviously it's a nice bright orange color, which again goes well with the naming scheme and the theme of this sneakers in general. You've got some black accents and around the forefoot of the sneaker, you've got the silver speckled shark teeth or spikes, whatever you want to call those bits. And the outsole, one of my favorite parts about this sneaker, they chose a really nice, almost vintaged out, yellowed out uh, outsole. So it's still kind of see-through and transparent. However, definitely has a kind of discolored look to it. it. Gives a little bit more of a premium look in some aspects, which I think goes really well with the rest of the sneaker. Now, when it comes to sizing, I personally went true to size and I've got no issues there. It fits me perfectly. So I would recommend true to size for you guys and just all over. I think this sneaker is something that is maybe slept on. I don't know if I want to use that word, but I think it's a very cool colorway. If this is something that maybe didn't touch your radar, maybe you weren't considering it, I feel like it's a really solid option and you just might like it a lot more in hand than you do on the images that Nike has put out. All in all, it's a nice pair of Jordan 5s that I really didn't think I would like as much as I do, but now getting it in hand, it definitely has a lot more to it than initially meets the eye. So either way, I do want to know your guys' thoughts. What do you think of the Jordan 5 Orange Blaze let me know down in the comment section and of course thank you so much for coming through hanging out for yet again another video thank you for liking commenting and of course subscribing i'll catch you guys in the next one but until then